Hello, and thank you for the privilege to present. I have no disclosures. The U.S. population is aging exponentially, and adults over 65 are the largest consumers of surgical services and drivers of health care costs. Colon cancer and diverticular disease are age-associated common indications for colorectal surgery. Substantial amounts of research and resources have been dedicated to optimizing care in colon cancer patients with the high rate of adverse outcomes and elective surgery for diverticular disease. It warrants a targeted QI investigation. Our goal was to compare the short-term quality outcomes for colon cancer and diverticular disease in older adults. And our hypothesis was that while more attention and resources are focused on optimizing colon cancer patients, diverticular disease patients have worse short-term outcomes. To that end, our institutional NISQIP PUF was reviewed for older adults undergoing elective colorectal surgery between January of 2017 and February of 2021. Patients were stratified into colon cancer and diverticular, group, diverticular disease groups, and then one-to-one -one case matched. Univariate analysis was performed across groups with the main outcomes measures being complications, length of stay, discharge, discharge disposition, readmissions, and reoperations. There were 933 resections recorded during the study period. After applying the inclusion and exclusion criteria, there were 251 available for matching. 204 patients were evaluated, 102 in each group. Colon cancer patients were frailer and had higher ASA scores, but diverticular disease patients had higher rates of modifiable comorbidities, including current smoking, steroids use, uh, anticoagulation, immunosuppressant use, and malnutrition. And diverticular disease patients also received more preoperative transfusions, and uh, 13 actually met sepsis criteria. Intraoperatively, there were similar rates of robotic surgery, but more open procedures in diverticular disease. And the operative times and conversion rates were comparable. Postoperatively, diverticular disease patients had significantly um, longer length of stay, more total complications, and major complications, including more anastomotic leaks, cardiac events, transfusions, UTIs, and sepsis. The diverticular disease patients were less often discharged home independently, and once discharged, however, the readmission and reoperation rates were analogous. In conclusion, diverticular disease patients have worse short-term quality outcomes than colon cancer patients. Additionally, the use of robotics may have reduced the disparities in the use of MIS in that it allowed our surgeons to uh, approach more complex diverticular cases robotically instead of open and subsequently reduced operative times and conversion rates. Also important, diverticular disease patients have modifiable risk factors. Uh, anticoagulation, smoking, nutrition, while the colon cancer patients were frailer and have higher ASA scores. It's possible to greatly impact outcomes by expanding uh, risk stratification and prehabilitation in this benign disease in older adults. Thank you.